guys, what's up? So this is going to be my video for the new Windows 10 that came out July 29th on that day. It, for my computer, it really didn't take that long. It took maybe, a, I don't know, two, three hours, maybe less really. I don't remember. I just clicked it, set it, and let it go. All my programs and stuff that I use, like Steam, iTunes, you know, all that stuff is still here. All my pictures, everything. But there are a few interesting things on here still. A few apps, but this is basically right here. This is the start button. As you can see on the side, there's a bunch of apps. You know, when you download this new Windows 10, they install apps that you don't want or need. All you do is, if you can, you right click it or whichever button on the mouse you click to do you know the normal thing and at some somewhere on the screen it will say you can like unpin it from the start resize it turn live tile off or pin to taskbar or you can, you can even uninstall it if it's there but as you can see there's a lot of different things different mini apps is um, just the regular you know icons for certain things like Google Chrome or my video video editing software there's also a new a new it's called Microsoft Edge I really don't use this even though it's pretty fast but I usually use Google Chrome Google Chrome but as you can see I don't really use it let's go somewhere and yes I actually think Google Chrome is faster but this is pretty decent as you can see it loads pretty fast as you can tell. There's also Cortana's on here. You get a program like Siri in a way, but it's called Cortana. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's see if I can do it. She pops on and she's nice. I don't know if Cortana wants to pop on today or not. Maybe she wants to pop off on me because I turned her off. It says, hey there, Lee. Let's see if I can ask her. Cortana, find me the nearest Bank of America. I said it wrong, but it basically popped up where the nearest Bank of America is. Cortana's pretty cool. We also have the store app for if you want to install apps or not. There's also another program on here for your music. It's called Groove Music. It's actually a little weird. You have the calendar, your mail, and at the bottom down here, there's a, no a notification box. You click on it when it pops up. You know, notifications that you get from your email or from something you plug in like this little hard drive right here this little flash drive it's for my game plays and yes there's a bunch more when you press expand at the bottom down here there's a bunch of different it's called like tablet mode setting note connect internet quiet hours location and airplane mode it's pretty cool because after it downloaded, it kept everything I had. My music, my pictures, my programs, everything. So far, I think Windows 10 is pretty cool. Or, as you can see, the little app, you know, the app that pops up for the store pops up. Scroll, you look like, it. you look for it. 
There's like Facebook, Netflix, Twitter, Hulu Plus, iHeartRadio, and even Amazon, which I'm a freaking user. Not user, I'm a freaking buyer on Amazon. But yes, there's plenty of apps on here. Collection of stuff now. Plenty of stuff to get. So, let's look at the weather. Well, yes. Hopefully all of you are having a very good day or night. As you can see... Well, no, I'm gonna block that out, so yes. You can't see where I live, but, as you can see, the rest of it, the weather's gonna be just fine. It's really gonna be 100 Tuesday. Wow. Oh, it's gonna be a hot day tomorrow, not tomorrow, Tuesday. Wait. This is tomorrow, Tuesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. What is wrong with me? Tomorrow is Tuesday. Yes. He said I use Google Chrome because it has everything. All my, you know, my little bars and whatnot for Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, iCloud, etc., etc. And there's Google. Google the all-seeing eye. Would that be Microsoft? One of them sucking all your data up, but hey, well, not really all of them are. Just saying. I do it, do it not. So hopefully you like my background. It's much like Fruity Pebbles, not Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops. I love the Fruit Loops. They're very fruity. But, yeah. So there you go. If you have any questions, please leave a comment at the bottom of the, after, at the, at the, bottom of the description. And come hit me up on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. And especially come subscribe. Well guys, that's it for now. See you till next time.